Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me for this video. So for today's video, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, no action figures, no G.I. Joe's, Marvel Legends review or anything like that. We're actually going to check out and do a short review on this awesome handheld I got before me, the MiU Mini Plus. So what it is, it's actually just a, a retro video game console in the theme of a Game Boy pretty much. Um, it's an emulator it, it plays old school games and it's freaking awesome so there's a lot of great ones out there they're, they're actually really popular right now these retro handheld consoles whether they're horizontal or vertical horizontal come in like the game boy advance um ps or the the, the playstation vita um the uh, psp handheld shaped or whether they're vertical like a game boy game boy pocket color Game Boy Advance SP styled um, or your original DMG Game Boy. Um, so there's a lot of them out there right now. So there's some really good competition. This is just the one that I chose. It's the most recent and it is the the big brother of actually last year's uh, retro handheld of the year, the, the Miu Mini. So this is just a little bit bigger, has a little bit stronger battery, but that kind of gets taken up by powering the slightly bigger screen. So it kind of evens out to be about the same. People are saying they're getting around six hours of actual gameplay time. So that's, that's not bad. That's pretty awesome. So pretty much what this is, this will play your old Nintendo, Famicom, Sega games, all the way up to PlayStation 1. And it comes on an SD card that's preloaded with those emulated games. Um, and that's just awesome. So just right out of the box, you'll be able to play tons of your, your favorite games, your classic games. And you could always swap out the SD card or you could add more games or you can swap out the SD card with your own lineup of games. Um, so that's really cool. So and it charges on a lithium battery like a Game Boy Advance SP. You don't you don't replace the batteries unless that battery actually goes bad, but it's a rechargeable battery. I think it uses a USB-C to charge <clears throat> and this that's about it. it this, this one has Wi-Fi. It's, it's up, upgrades from the previous is a little bit different in size and that it does have Wi-Fi capabilities allowing you to, to uh, to link up with, uh, you can do like retro achievements, which is kind of like current achievements in video games, but for retro games, which that's just really awesome. Um, but we'll jump into some more of the specifics of it here. We're just gonna go ahead and do the unboxing, just open it up and let you check it out. And then I'll get into it once I get it charged and we'll see how it plays right out of the box on the stock operating system, the stock OS. So here's what you'll get um, out of, you know, out of a shipping box. This is just, was just right in there, nothing fancy. It just came just like this, just a little block like that. So it's got this cream colored sleeve going on here and um, this little red box here on the inside. So we'll go ahead and pop them out and see what he looks like. So you got your Miu Mini Plus um, manual right there. And then the Miu Mini is gonna come in this little, I don't know, soft plastic wrap we got going on here. So there's the charger that looks like we got some some wipes and maybe this is a screen protector here so a screen protector some wipes and uh we'll go ahead and get the, the plus out so this is the color i chose which is black transparent here really cool and it's got your famicom looking button theme going on here See, no cartridges, it just comes preloaded. The games come preloaded on the um, the card, the, the memory card that comes with it. And it does come in different sizes, 64 gig um, and 128 gig. So this is another upgrade, was the staggered um, R1, R2, L1, L2, trigger buttons here on the back it says miu mini plus or miu up there in the corner you can see your battery there another upgrade that is different from the previous a lot of people had trouble getting the back off of just the miu mini but with the plus that seems pretty easy just pull up the tab and it comes up nice and easy now these buttons feel great I like that Feels awesome. Well, we'll go ahead and get ready to throw this thing on a charge. I do really like the black 
transparent. Here's your charging port here. Here's your headphone jack. And here's where your SD card goes. And the SD card came already in it. So already locked and loaded, hopefully. And uh, seems like everything's all right. I know a lot of people had problems with their screen actually popping out of the front a little bit. And I think that's due to it for one, not having much of a, a bezel at all and also um, maybe some heating up due to the backlight and not having enough adhesive from what I'm understanding. Um, so hopefully you don't get any like that, um, but this feels really solid in the hand. This feels like a Game Boy. That was one thing about the Game Boy that was just always, I mean, they're still around. Like they're still great little handhelds. You go to your, your local uh, video game store, you know, your old, collectible store and they still have Game Boy sitting in the case in their original condition a lot of them just still working great and the the bodies are in great condition and this feels like a Game Boy it feels a lot like a Game Boy it's, I feel like I really enjoy like the thick the thickness you got going on here and uh, yeah the triggers feel like they're in a good position too so I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up and we will actually turn it on and see how it works and how it plays coming out of the box stock on the stock operating system so Let's check it out. All right, guys, and now we're back. Uh, I got this thing out, I got it charged up, and I'm not gonna lie, this is the next day. Me and my kids have already been jamming on this thing for hours. I actually had to just physically wrestle down my two youngest to get this thing back to finish this video. Because they're playing like some old Spider-Man game and just having a blast playing games that they've never even heard of. And me too as well, have already been jumping into some, of course my favorites, but playing some games I've never even heard of before. So this thing is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and continue this review. And like I said, so we got this, this guy out, got him charged up. We're gonna go ahead and Hit this power button here in the top corner to boot it up and hold that for a few seconds about three seconds and then we got our menu here Miu games and that's going to power up let me, let me get this little uh, smudge we got on the screen there all right so this is our opening menu here it's gonna have your recents, your favorites, games, your retro arc, and applications. I think that's it. Oh, and settings as well. So you can change obviously your settings for the device. Um, so here's, we're gonna go into the game menu here. We got Famicom and Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. We've got Sega, we've got PlayStation, Super Famicom. Here we've got some more, we've got our Atari 2600. We've got some arcade games. We've got Neo Geo, all kinds of stuff. And some of these files, like even Neo Geo, it's got 152 files. Um, the 2600's got 703 games on it. Um, oh, I didn't want to go back. There we go. So Famicom, we got 6,825 games for our original Nintendo Famicom. Super Famicom, we got 6,692 games. Yeah, of course you got a few duplicates and some weird things on there, but for the most part, it's got a great library. You got Game Boy, uh, original Game Boy, you've got 1,871 games. For Game Boy Advance, we've got 1,500. You can see I've already favorited these as this little icon you see here that they are in my favorites file. Uh, you got Sega, you got 3,861 games. Oops, did not mean to open that game. So to go out, we're just gonna hit that menu button and exit the game. It's really that easy. You just kind of open them, it takes a second to load and then you jump right back into the menu and then you're going through the games. I'll bring it a little closer. We'll go back again. So you got your games, and then here we'll check. Here's our favorites files. You can see that I've already favored some games. I got Secret of Evermore, Secret of Mana, Pokemon Fire, Sapphire, Golden Sun, Kirby's Nightmare and Dreamland, Donkey Kong Country 1, Castlevania's Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls, Mortal Kombat 3, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie game, some hockey, uh, just, you know, your favorites, obviously, and even some of my, my kids have thrown in there. We got Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare for Super Famicom, Nintendo. Just awesome. This thing is awesome. It's ran smoothly, no problems. 
Um, so I'm gonna jump into a few games and then also show you like some of the other stuff you have like themes. So I'll, I'll jump into some of my favorites since they're right here. Um, let's see, something that's kind of easy to just get right into playing. Here we go, we'll go with Mortal Kombat 3. So, and I love the size of this thing, you know, I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Um, there is no knowledge that is not power. I mean, we all know this. All right. Ultimate Mortal. This is like probably my favorite fighting game from my childhood. I like Street Fighter, of course. I love Street Fighter, but this was my, uh, one of my favorite games to play. So yeah, got Mortal Kombat, but all I was gonna say is just, man, I was worried that this thing was gonna feel too small and I was even surprised when I first got it out and I'm actually gonna compare it with a couple of the Game Boys just so you can see, because even from some of the videos, I just couldn't get a good idea of the size, or at least not for me, I didn't feel like I was getting too good of a idea of the, uh, the size of it. So, and then you just hit exit game and you're right back out. You can, um, as well, obviously you have your save states for the games that you're playing. And your Donkey Kong Country. The games, the, the buttons all feel great. The response of the buttons all feel really good. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit more. I will say that's maybe my one gripe is the speaker. Um, it can get distorted when it's too loud and it doesn't sound super clear when it's loud. When it's, you know, medium to low volume, it sounds normal and really I don't want it any louder than that unless I would probably play with headphones to not be rude to whoever was else was around. But uh, here we'll go. Um, what we'll do, exit that. Just, to, just trying to give an idea of, you know, how quick they can they can load up and you can jump in now. I've already started uh, The Secret of Evermore. So what we'll do is rather than start from my save file, I'll show you from saving from a load state, which a lot of people know this, but some people don't understand this and, and have don't really know you can do this. So this is jumping right in, rather than opening my game, clicking on my saved file, just gonna literally go, oh, we're gonna load. I'm gonna load the save state right here where I was playing last. So you can save right in the middle of gameplay. So of course, when you used to play the games in the old days, you'd have to actually save it and start at that save file. So let's just say you're right in front of the boss and your wife says, hey, you gotta take the dogs outside. Um, you can just save it right there and come back and from that save, that save state, load it right up and you'll be right in active gameplay and not have to start from an actual file. So, or from a save zone, save spot or whatever. So super cool that you can do that but we're just gonna go ahead and back out and this is one of my favorite games secret of evermore this is just super cool really unique game and you know, already know you got that metroid on here one of my favorites ever super metroid And I do see it's Japanese up in the corner. I'm picking the Japan games for myself out of my choice, but they do have it, of course, in USA and European version, and all English, and the menu is all in English, so. But definitely one of the best, the best in my opinion. Got your Super Metroid. I mean, that screen just looks awesome. It's extremely vibrant. Looks really, really good. And of course, you already know, got your Zelda here. 
Link to the past, right here at the beginning. Your uncle done took off, went to the castle. I mean, the colors are nice and vibrant. And just, man, what a classic. Everybody loves this game. Everybody should know this one. But here it is, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Link to the Past. Here's your golden axe. Get out of here, bro. Ah. Oh, I come from the home. Oh, okay, okay, gonna double team me. All right, it's like that, huh? Okay. And you already know you got some. Super Golden Ghost for ya to have some fun on too. Yeah. Oh, zombie bros. Oh, oh. Uh, that's, that's on me. I'm clowning. Oh. Ah. Ah. Dead. So, what we're gonna do here is you can see the games work well. Um, I'm going to show you, you can also go into your settings, you got your Wi-Fi, you got your brightness, color, language, keys map, background volume, themes, hibernate, you can set it so it will hibernate, uh, factory reset, and your hardware test, but your themes, so your themes actually change your, your, uh, your layout here of your, like, the, the, the appearance of characters around your buttons and stuff, so it's just, it's just your theme, you know what that is, it's just like your phone, so you can change your theme. And there's some some okay stock ones. Uh, I don't really care for this one, but like, uh, let's go here. Let's go to I like this one right here. It looks kind of like the stock one, but kind of got kind of glow look to all the icons and stuff. I think that looks really cool. It looks pretty modern. So then you jump in and play these retro games, but then you got this modern looking menu. Really, really cool. I really, really dig that. So. We have that, um, like I said, we got our favorite games. Let's go ahead and we will actually go and boot up a PlayStation game, Bloody Roar. Let's check out Bloody Roar for PlayStation 1. So I already showed you some uh, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo games, and the Game Boy games, is, you know, of course work great. They're already kind of in this format anyway, so. So that just looks awesome. Bloody Roar 2. But yeah, the directional buttons, like the RG, I think 35XX, a lot of people complain about hitting a sideways when they're actually trying to hit up and not getting that diagonal accurate. This works really well. A lot of people gave compliments to the fact that this worked really well uh, and didn't have that problem. And I agree, I think the D-pad feels like Game Boy and it just feels really high quality. A lot of people out there talk about the build quality of the MiU Plus and saying, you know, hey, I wouldn't trust the build. I think this thing feels like it's, it was made by Game Boy. This is a great feeling handheld video game system. It feels like it's solid. The plastic doesn't feel cheap. It's not like you can't like push in the center. It doesn't like bend and move. Um, it's not creaky. And I like it. a lot of people don't like the fact that on the RG35XX that the trigger buttons here on the back, they rattle. Like, I mean, this thing's quiet. It Nothing feels loose and cheaply made. It feels like they, they really did it right on this. And uh, I see why the Mini got handheld of the year last year, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Plus goes this year, because um, this is an awesome handheld system. And, you know, you see it running. I don't have Tekken. I'm not sure which Tekken it does have on here, but pretty much a Tekken-style game, you know, and 
it's running very smooth. I mean, you already know, here's your Tony Hawk Pro Skater PlayStation 1. Oh, see. See, I was distracted there. I just, that's all it was. So I hit a grind here. Oh. Oh, front side. Oh. Oh, that was a little sketchy, but it worked. Oh, backside flip. I thought that was, yeah, here we go. So yeah, your PlayStation, one of your PlayStation favorites, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, come on. You know that's awesome. You already know you got some Capcom versus SNK. Got your boy Vega here. Trying to put in work. Oh. Come on, bro. This is for PS1. So, PlayStation 1, Capcom versus SNK. Sorry, I had to do that to you. Oh. Got you in that corner. What's up? Oh. Get out of here. Sorry, I had to do that to you. Alright, well, here we got some uh, FIFA soccer for you. This is for PS1, this is FIFA 2005. Eight. Ah! Uh, you need a flag right there. Okay. Yeah, that's FIFA 2005 there for your PlayStation 1. Running pretty smooth. And just to give you a size comparison, because that was one thing for me. I was just like, man, I got really big hands. And some of these people in these videos have small hands. I'm scared it's going to you know, be too small. And it is small. And my hand did feel it after playing in bed for quite a while last night. Going through the menu and picking games and playing them and stuff. But... It is actually the perfect size. It's like your little secret Game Boy that you can have in your pocket that's not gonna take up too much real estate in your jacket or your pants, whatever. And a lot of people didn't like that the RG35XX had uh, that the trigger buttons here on the back stuck out a little bit far. This is just perfect, like smooth. I don't think it's gonna get caught on anything. It feels really easy to put in your pocket. And yeah, the ergonomics of it's just really nice. And like I said, this just feels like a perfect kind of Game Boy with a bunch of game sandwiches. So here it is next to the Game Boy Pocket, just for a size comparison. It's your Game Boy Pocket there, so like an inch and a half taller. Now, on the wideness is actually a little bit wider, maybe yeah, just, just a smidge bit wider than your Game Boy Pocket. Um, but I always love the size of the pocket. Um, and color is just a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker in the back, but definitely a great size is the Game Boy Pocket. But we'll also check it here with the Game Boy Advance SP. So a little bit bigger than a Game Boy Advance SP. Um, fold it up and then we'll open that. All right. And so there you go. The screen size comparison screen is bigger, obviously. But yeah, it just really fits in with feeling like it was made by Nintendo or something. Like, really cool. I, I'm in love with this thing. I think it's pretty awesome. So, and yeah, about the, the exact same width of an, a Game Boy Advance SP shell. About the same size as that body. Awesome. I really like this thing. So, there's a few games for you. Um, like I said, you've got your settings menu, you can do uh, some things in, and you got your retro arc menu in here that's got uh, games kind of uh, into like different little categories. You got arcade classics and uh, stuff like that. Um, I went through this a little bit last night, but then still got caught up playing games here in the SNES section. And uh, yeah, this thing's just gonna be a lot of fun. If you like retro games, if you like checking out games you've never even heard of or never played before, I've never played Ultraman um, for Super Famicom, and I'm an Ultra, I'm an Ultraman fan, and it was really fun to even just play that in Japanese because like I can read a little bit of Japanese, so it's fun to like go through that and just like see it in its like natural state. Like it's just really cool to see all these different versions of games and stuff. Um, 
So yeah, definitely for someone who wants to not spend too much and be able to fly. I mean, for the price, okay, so like Super Metroid for Super Nintendo is gonna set you back a little chunk. Um, what is it? Final Fantasy is going to set you back a chunk. Mega Man X will set you back a chunk. The Secret of Evermore, Zelda. These games, you're literally three or four of these games if you bought them on a Super Nintendo. Of course, you'd have them in hand physical, but just three or four of those games is going to pay for this whole entire unit here. Um, these things are like 65, 70, 75 bucks, 100 bucks if you get it on Amazon, and some you know, third party, some, somebody who bought it is reselling it or some company that's buying it and reselling it, but still even at a hundred bucks. Um, yeah, these things are awesome. But of course, if you can get them from like AliExpress or their actual website and get it for like 55, 65, 70 bucks, that's even better. Um, but the game amount that they have already preloaded this is awesome. And then again, you can put whatever games you want that it can handle on there. You can download other emulators and uh, put them on here. And as well, when the Onion OS updated um, uh, operating system is available for this, you can download that if you, it has, you know, hopefully some other options for um, your, your menus and your categorization of your games. You can put them in alphabetical order, stuff like that. Um, so that'll be really cool. That'll be really awesome. Only um, like I said, you got, of course you got your Sonic. I think, uh, yeah, and some of these are weird. There are some weird, a few weird files, but for the most part, you go through them a little bit, see which ones you got going on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the real deal. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time keeping this one away from my kids and being able to get away with taking this one to work without them getting upset and trying to hide it from me or something. Like I said, the colors are vibrant, the screen looks great, the build quality is really nice and solid. It comes in some really cool colors. I think the Mi Mini Plus comes in grape transparent, so it's like a purple transparent, um, a white with the Famicom kind of button color layout, you got your black transparent, is which is what I have here. And then I think you have like the Game Boy DMG gray with purple buttons um, for uh, colors for these. And uh, that's I think that's a pretty good uh, line up there and as well people are already making and I think the, 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 the buttons are the same size as the mini I'm pretty sure so there's already aftermarket buttons you can get transparent and neon green buttons and different color d-pads um, and trigger buttons if you do, if you're not fully in love with the color or you feel like you want to customize it make your set yours apart from someone else's uh, you can do that as well as well as people dye the shells and, and color them and you have uh, s Skins you can put on them and buy so lots of customization available You can customize the content that's inside you can customize the operating system You can customize the themes for your pages and obviously you can customize your lineup of games So these things are awesome. This is like every game you want That's not you know your brand new games But all your old retro classics in one handheld for under a hundred bucks and you can't really beat that um, like I said, some people prefer a few of the other brands. I don't have those. Maybe I'll get one in the future for the family to share and just have another to test out. But I'm really glad with this first purchase here. Some people were complaining about the color bleed here, that there was like light bleeding from the screen, or maybe they're just talking about this light here. It doesn't seem to bother me at all. I think it looks pretty snappy. Um, I'm really happy with this. So yeah, that's my review and maybe I'll do another review as I upgrade the system and maybe do some on changing out the buttons because I do plan to put in some custom buttons and uh, triggers back here as well. So maybe I'll do a video of me cracking it open and, and changing a few things out and maybe as well when I get the Onion OS system up and running for it. But for now, I think right out of the box, that's uh, this thing's pretty awesome. Um, like I said, you've got favorites, um, you've got all different, I mean, just so many games that you can play. You've got net play, which I haven't even done anything with that yet, but just a lot of things. So I hope you guys like this review. Click that like button and subscribe if you want to see, you know, future videos on some things like this or your action figure review, stuff like that. And uh, leave a comment. What do you think about this? Do you have this? Do you have the Anbernick 30, uh, 35 uh, XX, do you uh, have 
got like the retroid pocket how do you think it compares to that or you know is this would this be your first retro uh handheld emulator so that's kind of why i made this video was maybe for your first time buyer not your your typical retro handheld tinkerer you know person who's really into this as a hobby and upgrading and tearing these things apart on the frequent more or less just for your average buyer who's just like hey these things i saw this thing on you know amazon or ebay or someone who's talking about this what are these things really about that's what it is you go you buy this thing it comes with a sd card that's a little mini sd card that slides right in here in the bottom and it comes preloaded with thousands of your favorite classic games that you can jump right into you can save right where you're at you don't have to go to a save point you can save and jump right let's say you're at a meeting hey I, i'm got, i'm about to get busy you can just save it right there where you're at go do what you got to do slap this thing on a charger put it in sleep mode come right back and you'll open it right where you were i mean that's awesome um and you can change the games out it's not like a game system that you buy and it's you know, it's got 100 games can't change them can't get new ones can't get rid of ones you want you can swap these things in and out you can fully wipe the, the card and and put the thousands of games that only you that, you know only games that you want on there whatever you that you could put I've already seen you people can put episodes of, of shows on it. Some of your aunt, like you want to watch Dragon Ball Z on this, you can put that kind of stuff on your SD card and save it to this and have your own little, you know, deep little mini, you know, TV show, TV player, you know, watch some shows that you love or whatever. Um, and possibly even music as well. So, yeah, you got your headphone jack there. There again is your, it just comes with like a little three and a half inch or four inch um usb c charger and it does come with a usb a drive as well so you can swap things in and out of this onto your home computer and you know download new systems and new games and stuff like that so that's it that's my review on the miu mini plus i hope you guys like the video and i'll catch you on the next one